And now we have our two student speakers. Dr. Adlai Stevenson, former governor of Illinois, Woo! Democratic presidential candidate, Woo! and ambassador to the United Nations. Yeah. Adlai may not have won all of his elections, but he always campaigned eloquently for principled politics, support for public education, the suspension of nuclear testing, improved race relations, and conservation long before these were recognized by the general public as worthy causes. He was a model of public service who was dedicated to the preservation of human dignity and ethical responsibility. Like our namesake, Stevenson College recognizes that an excellent education goes beyond the classroom and into society at large. Those of you who started here in Frosh began your Stevenson experience with your summer core course assignment that asked you to read John Paul, John Paul Sartre's essay on existentialism. Your advances in medicine, law, the humanities, social sciences, art, engineering, and science. Perhaps you'll be like Bev Crayer, one of our alums who defied gender assumptions in Silicon Valley and became the head of Intel Storage Division. Or maybe you'll be like John Laird, former Santa Cruz mayor and legislator who served as the secretary of the California Natural Resources Agency. Or finally, maybe you'll be like Mark Oakridge, an alum who took his training in linguistics and used it to create the Klingon language. <laughs> we Stevensonians exemplify our theme of self and society by maximizing both their individual potential and their contributions to their communities. We expect, no, we know, that you will carry on this legacy. And we also expect that you will come back as alumni who can share your wisdom and experiences with new generations of Stevensonians. And now we have our two student speakers. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. And I hope I made you proud. Cashmere is a first-generation transfer student 
on such issues full time. Alice left the Medical Association to design and lead the public policy and public affairs program at the British company GW Pharmaceuticals, now named Greenwich, Greenwich Biosciences in the U.S., where she facilitated research in the U.S. and abroad that resulted in the first and only cannabis-derived therapeutic product to be developed under international scientific standards. Yeah, I'll... 